Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. And here we have Napoli against Fiorentina. I'm Peter Drury, and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beckham. Hello, Peter, and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? I'm going to go for the Slovakian Hamšík. Easily one of the more productive, creative players on show and, and likely to be at the hub of, of all things attack. He's a scorer of important goals too and I hope he doesn't let me down now now that I've given him the big mention. I'm thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. promising but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm firmly met and it's Allen doesn't get the pass he's looking for Valero out for a throw throw it Decent progress down the left. That's a throw. Mertens absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Defence can get it clear. Insignia delivers. He's had a shot! Oh, within an inch or two. Well, I think the keeper knows all too well that there was no getting anywhere near that. That's a big escape. Thrust towards the front line. Sanchez. Has ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Hamšík. Allen. And back out it comes. El Cadori passes it through. That's a corner kick. Save really well read. Great effort. He flew in with courage. And he really threw himself at that one. Just a little more accuracy was all it needed. Lorenzo Insignia. It's got through. Mertens. Gonzalo. And the half-time whistle goes. So we reached the halfway point. Napoli ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Mertens. Oh, that's a waste. Tomovic. Rodriguez pumps it upfield. 
it's Sanchez. And it's Kalinic. Kalinic proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Kalinic showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Kalinic. Patel. Aimed long and direct. Tries a through ball. Lorenzo Insigne. Can he put it away? He's done very well to get to that. Oh, much more than a, than a routine save for me, and, and yet he just coped with, with room to spare. Lorenzo Insignia goes short, turns and goes back. Oh, that's a waste. Probably not his best option. I think goalkeepers are, are normally happy for players to have a, a go from there. Who's going to make this theirs? Sanchez. And it's Kalinic, gets it back, and he has been fouled there. Now the pass. Lorenzo Insigne, and he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Oh, the ball's come loose! Oh, nearly. Nearly, it's nothing. Well, to be honest, I thought it was a good enough effort to go in, only for the post to get in the way. I mean, this game can be very tough on you at times. Sanchez. Patel. Out to the left it goes. Mertens, Fiorentina have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Lorenzo Insigne, spoon forward. And it's Alcatori. Looks to slip it through. Aimed long and direct. That'll be a throw-in. Fiorentina have decided now is the time to make their final change. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Played out to the right, Mertens with a delicate ball, just the goalkeeper to beat. Gorgeous from Lorenzo Insigne! Well, if ever there was a perfect time to score, I think we just witnessed it. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. And that's it. Napoli win it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important.